you know, we've got over a hundred tradespeople every day on site working. That's over 800 hours of people power working away and building this facility. Uh, it's great to see the action. There's always something going on. Today, the roof is going on over to the sports center on building B. Um, and yeah, it's a great hive of activity. So this is the council skate park that is coming online very soon. It was designed by Convict, a Melbourne-based skate uh, design firm that's probably, probably the, regarded as the best skate firm um, to design facilities in Australia. It's the result of ongoing community consultation with young people across Liverpool. And when finished, this will be uh, Liverpool's premier skate park. We're really excited about opening Cairns Hill Library. It's going to be a fantastic library for the community. We'll have 30 to 40,000 items in the library, books and books in languages other than English as well. We'll have study spaces, reading spaces, chill out spaces. There's going to be something for everyone in Cairns Hill here in the library. Behind me we have the square area. Elaine's going to be into the office space and crash facilities for patrons. Then behind that we'll have change rooms which service the health club. Then downstairs we have the, um, the sports courts area. So we'll have two full-size basketball courts. And on the far wall we'll have a number of smaller program rooms which will allow the operator to provide services like um, dance classes and, um, and that sort of small activity. The community centre is looking great. Once it's finished, it's going to be a wonderful facility for the community. Um, it's multi-purpose with small rooms, large rooms, um, fully functioning kitchen. It will be available to hire for businesses, individuals and community groups. There's even an outdoor space which looks under the beautiful trees. It's going to be wonderful. The Carnes Hill Recreation and Community Precinct has been designed to a five-star Green Star rated facility. Some of the key features we have implemented are the underfloor air conditioning to the library, the rainwater harvesting system, the labyrinths to cool the air to the plant room, the energy efficiency glazing, and the maximum use of the natural bushlands. These are just some of the key features in the ESD initiatives for this project.